Here's the video tutorial to go over order of operations. It's chapter 1.3 in your textbook. Please feel free to open up and follow along with. So to start off, a numerical expression is an expression that contains only numbers and operations. An example of this would look like this. Um, I have 4 squared minus 3 times 2 plus in parentheses, 4 divided by 2, in parentheses. Now, this is a no numerical expression. To evaluate or find the value of a numerical expression, and we all have the same way of finding it, we use a set of rules called the order of operations. If you don't go by the set of rules, it's not the same one that everybody else uses. Uh, so this is how we agree to use um, and evaluate a numerical expression. First, the word looks like this. It's a priority. It's a priority of what comes first. First, we look for parentheses. You evaluate expressions in the parentheses first. So in our example, we would be looking for the parentheses, which is 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And so I can just rewrite that um, parentheses as the number 2. Then we go for exponents. Second, you evaluate the value of um, the value of the numbers with exponents. So I see that I have 4 squared. And 4 squared is 4 times 4, which gives me 16. So now I replace 4 squared with 16, and then continue evaluating. Third would be division and multiplication done at the same level. So you multiply or divide from left to right. You look in from, if you see a string of division or multiplication, you read it this, the same way you, you do reading, is from left to right. So three, I do have multiplication here. Three times two is six. And then fourth, is addition and subtraction. They're at the same level, but you read them from left to right as well. So add or subtract from left to right. Here I would do 16 minus 6 first. And then I would do, because 16 minus 6 gives me 10. Then I do 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2 gives me 12. So the value of this numerical expression using the order of operations, the agreed upon order of operations that everybody uses, this gives me the value of 12. Let's try that out on, um, on fractions because the order of operations with fractions means evaluating the numerator and denominator uh, separately. So if I'm looking at Here's a fraction, an expression on top, an expression on bottom. You want to simplify the expression in the numerator first and simplify the expression in the denominator um, before going into this is a division. So first, parentheses, our order of operations, parentheses, exponents, uh, division, multiplication, and addition and subtraction. There is no parentheses. There is no exponents in ours. So we're just looking at division and multiplication, taking care of those. I have 4 times 5 and 10 divided by 5. And then in my denominator, I have 21 divided by 3. So I'll take care of those. I get 4 times 5 is 20. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I have 20 plus 2 in the numerator. And then 4 plus, and then 21 divided by 3 is 7. So 4 plus 7. Next, I'm done with the division and multiplication, so I'm going to addition and subtraction. 20 plus 2 in the numerator is 22, and 4 plus 7 is 11. Now I can evaluate or simplify this fraction. So 22 divided by 11, I can simplify the fraction um, by dividing both the top and the bottom by 11. I end up with 2 over 1 or 2. 
You can also see that 11 goes into 22 two times. Please let me know if you have any questions. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a great day.